crime in our city. It was a topic of discussion with WMR2 News Kendall Green and Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott. And his second year in office starts today and the day starts with another murder on our streets and we're putting crime and the mayor's plan in to fight it in focus. WMR2 News Kendall Green joins us right now with an issue impacting families, businesses, just about everybody who lives in and loves Baltimore. Kendall. Yeah, Jamie Kelly, in some way or another, folks within city limits are feeling the impact of violence. And that's why we're having that conversation and, and addressing the mayor's message to grieving families, as well as his stance on funding police. How or if that's changed after a year in office? When you first ran with BPD, you had a stance on police and funding and how you, over time, you want to reduce the funding for Baltimore Police Department. Being in the mayor's chair, seeing the issues, you know, in depth that way, how has that stance changed? Well, the stance, my, the, the stance for me is about, it hasn't really changed at all, right? For me, it's about, I think folks get into the, the hashtags is what I always tell folks, right? Uh, but when you get away from all that noise and understand this, for example, uh, well, you know that we are leading a, a, a very unique 911 diversion uh, a call pilot program right now, where we're actually diverting calls away you know, behavioral health calls away from police to trained professionals, right? Uh, that is what, you know, many folks will say like, oh, well, you're defunding the police. No, you're actually doing what should have been done in the first place because our police officers aren't trained behavioral health specialists. Why on earth are we requiring them to go out to these calls, right? So yes, we should over time, as we build that out, think about how all the dollars, millions of dollars that we've been allocating for police to do behavioral health work can actually go to behavioral health experts, right? That is about being smart with your dollar. What is your message to some of the more than 300 families who are grieving folks that uh, become victims of gun violence? What would you say to them um, going for your next three years, like what can they expect differently or what would be your word to them? My, my first thing is that my heart is still with them and that they know that, you know, I'll always be here for them. Uh, even when I'm no longer sitting in this chair, I'm going to be a, a, a son of Baltimore and I'm never going to leave this community, right? And that these personally impact me uh, be, because even though I didn't do it, I feel personally responsible each and every time that happens to someone and that what we're going to do and work together to do is make sure that as we move forward as a city that we are a city that are building better people so that we have less and less and less of that happening and we are going to continue to aggressively go after people who commit acts of violence and hold them accountable. We're going to do both. We're going to uplift people but the, for those who feel like they can just go out and shoot somebody because there's a dispute. Uh, and I want to be very clear to those who are continuing to do that, especially those who are doing that uh, over these interpersonal things, over a woman, over a man. You don't own him. You don't own her. That person's free to be able to do whatever they want with their body. When you have a small minor dispute with someone, uh, you, should not, you should not feel like it's okay to take that person's life because you have a disagreement. All right, to wrap up the interview, you all just uh, you know, press fast forward to a year from now. What did the mayor say about the next 365 days? Well, he spoke about building on the infrastructure uh, that they have set within this last year so far. Um, just to look at some numbers, $50 million in gun violence reduction invested, 80 in city health department, 35 million in closing the digital divide just last week, 50 million in economic equity and COVID-19 recovery. Um, and that's about $250 million. And that's a third of the 641 American Rescue Plan dollars. So, I mean, that's all the money is going to go forward in the next couple of years. We're just going to have to see what happens with that. Did he talk much about the relationship with businesses? Because he, they feel like they've really taken a hit because of decisions that the mayor's made. Absolutely. He said that he wants to improve businesses and attract, uh, like the FIFA Cup, they're going after folks for the FIFA Cup. They're bringing in a basketball tournament as well, um, just to try to get more people uh, to benefit from more traffic here in Baltimore. But that's a great question we, we could, you know, address as well. Okay. All right. Good job, Kendall.